Can I say to you, I don't mind you asking the question of me, and I feel very awkward about the thing. I have no sense of entitlement to this. I've never asked anyone for it. I've never been asked by anyone in authority about it. And I have no idea whether what has been in the media is well-founded or groundless. What I would say is that uh, the vote that the Irish people gave yesterday entitles the Irish Taoiseach in his conversations uh, with President Barroso to say that he feels that the Irish people have delivered not just for Ireland but for Europe. And therefore and we should President get a good Barroso strong should have uh, regard to that. Yes. And certainly that part is there irrespective of the personality. OK, will Barroso take note of that line if it comes from the Taoiseach? Well, I'll tell you something. President Barroso would be a very, in a very different humour getting out of his bed in Brussels or wherever yes. he is this morning if the vote was the, the exact opposite to what we got yesterday. Because there's an awful danger we're going to be, have a commissioner for, you know, pencil sharpeners and other irrelevant commissioner portfolios in the EU. I mean, what, what are the types of positions do you think at a commissioner level that we should be getting? I, I mean, I, to be honest with you, I, 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 haven't, I haven't turned any thought to that. But to make a general point to you, there are 27 commissioners, and I think you're right, to do with kind of significant positions, uh, that to find something significant for 27 is difficult. Uh, but there's absolutely no doubt in respect of what Ireland has done yesterday for the wider European Union, uh, that an Irish Taoiseach is fully entitled to insist that the uh, European Commission and its president should have regard uh, to, to the quality and the substance of that vote. So what kind of portfolios are, 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 you, are you talking about? Well, Ireland over the years has always got pretty strong portfolios. We had Paddy Hillary who initiated social, literally built social policy from, from zero in, 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 in the early 70s. Pauli Flynn had social policy. We had Ray McSharry in agriculture. We had Peter Sutherland uh, in competition. Uh, we had uh, David Byrne who pioneered through a whole series of food crises uh, a whole new uh, level of uh, EU capacity to act in that regard. And in every portfolio we've had, the Irish have left a very positive trace. Except Charlie McCreevy. We are told that uh, Jose Manuel Barroso does not like McCreevy, that McCreevy has been, um, if not ineffective, certainly unpopular in the EU, and that he's tainted the uh, Irish representation in Brussels. Well, certainly, it's, it, it's true in p popular discourse in the European Parliament that Charlie McCreevy has not been flavour of the month, uh, and, and, and that's, as, uh, that's as it is. But I do think this, this vote really does say that Ireland is entitled to go to the Commission President and to say we've, we've paved a way for a new Europe and for a new momentum for European politics internally within the Union and globally on the world stage. And that at well, would you stage, accept a Commission uh, position if you were offered it? Well, again, to go back to this, it, it, be, it gets presumptuous. To, I, I have no idea whether... There, but that's uh, the speculation. It's, it's yourself, it's, it's uh, John Bruton and Owen Ryan, and that, you know, you might see the position as being a reward for the efforts you put in for the Ireland well, for Europe campaign. Well, I want to tell you something. The Ireland for Europe campaign, uh, as an idea, started long before this speculation. And I can tell you something, and this is genuinely the case, Duty carries its own reward. If I get nothing ever from anyone, I frankly don't give a damn. I have a private life. Uh, I left politics. I rebuilt my private life. I'm happy where I am. And the real thrill I've got out of this has nothing to do with rewards, nothing to do with entitlement, but everything to do with the fact that I think it's good for but our But would country. you take the position if it was offered to you? I'm simply, I'm not, I'm not going it. you know, the, the if thing is, then it presumes I'll be asked. The reason I'm not answering your question is not to avoid it. I have no presumption, no entitlement and no expectation. Okay, John Burton, and I know, uh, Brian, you want to come in as well. John Burton, just well, on the position itself. I, I mean, I, obviously, the call is the Taoiseach's call. Uh, and I think Pat appreciates that. I think the important thing is that we have a highly qualified person as Commissioner who is, uh, if you like, for the work of Europe. The point about Charlie McCreevy is that Charlie McCreevy is a kind of a one-off and I think that he is profoundly Eurosceptical. Uh, even, uh, you know, he, he, Charlie McCreevy is something of a contrarian. My biggest crit criticism of Charlie McCreevy would be he failed to offer any kind of serious regulation of the banking sector. 
at a time when that regulation was clearly required. Neither, I have to say, did P- Brian Cowan when he was Minister for Finance. That was a kind but of feeling. But was the EU Commissioner. Absolutely. And some for of instance, yes. he ran into a lot of, of criticism from the various groups in the European Parliament. Um, the other issue as well, uh, in terms of the quality of the portfolio we hold, given the jobs crisis in Ireland and given, as Pat Cox has said, the previous history of Ireland uh, in relation to the social job creation and education portfolios. If I were to Taoiseach, I have to say that is the area of the greatest need in this country. We have in other countries like Germany, for instance, a lot of really interesting innovations about people studying, upskilling their, uh, you know, upskilling while still remaining in work. We have graduate placement schemes. We've graduate internship schemes. We, we really haven't even started at that. We've this awful mess in FOSS, which has been the massive recipient in the past of European funds. My, my, my personal preference would be to go for something on the social job creation area okay. because that's what we need in this country. Okay, we've loads of people asking about Tony Blair as well, but Brian Hickey, very quickly from CORE, you wanted to come back on that point. Just a, mo- <clears throat> just a word or two in, uh, in uh, Charlie McCreevy's defence, uh, just to, to say that I think he has been very frank uh, about uh, what the uh, about, about the European institutions. He said, of course, uh, you saw it on our poster, that 95% of Europe would vote no to the Lisbon Treaty. He also said last year, last December, that uh, there was no provision in the treaty to isolate anybody, uh, which really gives the lie to this claim by the yes side that we would have been, we would have isolated ourselves uh, and been cold shouldered in Europe and so on if we had voted no. And he also, he's also admitted in the past that uh, the European uh, Commission has, has designs on our, our corporate tax rate and that they would like to to see uh, tax harmonisation. So I'm very pleased at that. Jones said that he was um, very a, a Eurosceptic. Now, I don't think he is, but I think it is worrying that, that your concept of who and who is not a, who would be a suitable commissioner uh, is determined by seems to be determined by the level of one's commitment to the okay, European Okay, Brian, uh, what I was concerned so- about was that Russia. Charlie McCreevy in recent years has leapt continuously to the defence of the hedge funds in London and the short sellers. Now, while the hedge fund industry is an important industry, it does need to be regulated. People who have lost their homes, who have lost their jobs, who are in negative equity, owe uh, quite an amount of that to the failure to re- re- regulate the global banking industry. And Charlie McCreevy was a profound sceptic until very, very recently when the system had already crashed about a reasonable system of regulation. regulation. And I I, I stand by that. Okay.